used to be out on the corner, he was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster, his life he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff Welcome back, everyone. We got uh, a big day today, big episode planned. Fuck. Fucking. No, we don't. <laughs> Our guest canceled. Our guest canceled. Fuck uh, him. Yeah, we had. We were supposed to have Taylor Holder on the show today because, you know, it's Pride Month and we were. Uh, not that has anything to do with Taylor, but he canceled on us. And not only did he cancel, he sent us a cease and desist and said that we can't talk about him at all throughout the rest of the podcast. I'm just kidding. That was a joke because we were. I wasn't going to get into that stuff with him anyway, but something came up. So it's just going to be the boys. We got a lot of good stuff to talk about. And then we're going to do a. Autism test. Is there anyone specific? No, no. We're all going to take it because I've been watching this show on Netflix. I've been watching a lot of shows on Netflix lately, and that's how you could tell how my mental health is doing because usually that will put me in a depression when I watch too many shows. Are you a binge watcher? Yeah. Yeah? I just watch every single one of uh, Mike's vlogs Bad. and your vlogs videos. Oh, you're binge watching not even on Netflix. You binge watch oh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. What about you? You binge watch? Yeah, I just finished Stranger Things. It's kind of like dangerous because you could go fuck your whole day the next day yeah if you binge watch too hard it's like addiction it's like being addicted to fucking drugs when you're watching these shows i'm sure you know drugs are worse but is it a gateway it, it's a gateway yeah to netflix depression. is a, a gateway to heroin oh, youtube is youtube is as well i guess we're just fucked in life mm -hmm. i just watch all of cars cars 2 and cars 3 but you don't even know what those are because you're too old yeah, those just things mean nothing. Kids podcast <laughs> so fast. Means nothing. Yeah, and that's that pisses me off. But <laughs> speaking of binge watching, I um I watched Stranger Things last night. Did you like it? I tried not to go too hard. I could have sat through the whole series. And I did two episodes would, a day. Two episodes through, a day is fair. Days. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Moderation. That's the key to life. Even when it comes to watching, consuming content. But if you're a binge watcher out there, I don't want you to stop. You know, we do a bunch of videos that can be binge watched you can binge watch the barbershop series you can binge watch our vlogs you can binge watch our patreon if you subscribe to patreon you actually get a whole catalog now because we've been doing patreon for a year so we have, we have at least 25 30 vlogs on there that you probably haven't even seen live streams some podcasts that we did on there there's a whole archive of content that you could dip into just subscribe and then quit next month who gives a fuck steven's penis is in there yeah you can see steven's dick in there multiple times Where's my percentage? Um, but I'm not, pro I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not using that as a selling point for the Patreon. Nope. No, I don't give a fuck, and neither do other people, because we tried <laughs> doing that, and you only, we only made 200 bucks, and it all went to you. I couldn't even take the 60% cut of that. <laughs> like, I, that felt bad. I felt bad. I felt bad. What would I even get if you took 60 is 200? I don't know. Yeah. You're the drug dealer. What is that? 60% yeah. um, of 200 is 120. You can't do that math that quick? I no. mean, I guess drug dealing is pretty much mostly math. So Street education. And marketing. You know, actually, the marketing's built in. People need the shit. It's addiction you're playing on. It's an easy job. It's an easy profession. Speaking of that, I've been watching another show about people with autism, and I've been reminded of someone that's around me a lot. I'm not making fun of the people on the show. I love this show. I think if anybody's making fun of them, it's Netflix because they know what they, they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's a line you ride where you make entertainment and you push the boundaries. Netflix is really fucking riding that line with love on the spectrum. But I love the show. It made me cry genuinely because I want to see these sweet autistic people find love. And they're awkward, but they're also really smart and skilled in other fields and trades in life. One of the kids plays the piano. It's very impressive. I can't play no instruments. Can you? Drums, guitar. And I sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. As I was watching it, I did look up to see if I was on the spectrum because I was worried a little bit. I, I repeat stuff. You know, sometimes I'm a little bit awkward, but that's me doing a character. Now, for you, everybody tells you to break character, but even when you break character, it's not always a... Do you think I'm in character right now, be honest? I think you're an exaggerated version of yourself, which is right already now? a very... No, I think when you do your characters, it's an exaggerated version of yourself. You play into what talents you were given naturally which yeah i think autism was that what kanye says autism is a superpower or bipolar is a superpower your oh, mental illness be a superpower your mental illness is a superpower if you could really find a way to harness the the positives that come out of it oh. basically right now what i want to do is i want to get into an 
autism test. They're online. We'll put our tests that were taken down in the link in the description so you guys can take it along with us at home. And we'll all find out if our selves, our family and friends are on the spectrum. And if you are, there's nothing wrong with it. Elon Musk is on the spectrum. He has autism and he's a goddamn genius, richest man in the world. So I, I'm kind of uh, hoping that, that I get a high score here. And you, my friend, I am confident that you are going to get a very high score here. Today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Have you got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of? What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. Get what you want to eat right now and right at your door with DoorDash. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Craving late night ice cream? Forget that one key ingredient for dinner, or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and even Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy and items will be left safely outside your door when you choose the contactless delivery option, which is what I use every time. If anything good has come out of the pandemic, it's the contactless delivery drop-off option. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JEFFFM. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code JEFFFM. Don't forget, that's code JEFFFM for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. All right, now let's find out who's autistic, baby. Let's find out who's autistic. Let's find out who's on the spectrum. Steven, <laughs> you're gonna win. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit on the spectrum. So I, I believe, and we're gonna take a test today and find out who is the most on the spectrum, and if Steven is actually okay. a, a full-blown autistic. Because Steven, we, just, we care about you, man. His top comments on his TikToks and all of his videos are, break character, bro, please break character. And, then, <laughs> and, not, and, and you, know, you know what's messed up is my most recent videos are me not in character, and they think I'm in character. Like the Lana thing. Okay, yeah, that's why we're doing this test, exactly. But, um... These people are so just so easy to love and they are so talented and smart in different ways. They might just not have the, the people skills that some people have more of. But what they lack in that area, they back up in other areas. Are you okay? Why are you laughing, bro? We have to redo that. I'm so serious. That was fucked He's up. He's laughing at autism people. No, bro. I, I like think it's okay. Let's just take the test and we'll decide if we can cut it after because it's like, yeah. Have you ever thought about this? Did you ever do anything Steven, in school? Did you did take you... normal classes in high school? Yeah. Or did you wear like a headset and have an iPad? <laughs> to be honest, I think you did. You went to a special high school. You had the short bus? Did you oh, really go on the short bus? Oh, you did. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I went to a stinky high school with like, like, uh, a like 50 kids. Okay. It's called Fairleigh Academy. And it was not my normal high school. It's for bad kids. Did you ever kids get... I, I have are failing. Did you ever, did you ever get diagnosed <laughs> with autism? Now, I have a cousin. I can't believe I just my first up cousin. That. My <laughs> first cousin has red. autism. You know, I think my brother might have a little. I think I might have a little bit in me. But there's, like, fully on the spectrum. You, I think you hit if or if maybe I'm I'm, I'm fucking. I sound like I have autism right now. Um, I think if you hit over a certain score, like thirty or more, is you're on the spectrum. You you have full blown autism. Don't tell me the answer. I did this test the other day because I was watching this show with the woman I have in my life now, and she's very smart. And she told me that I was probably on the spectrum. She talks down to me. I like it. I like it. She just gets me going, you know? She'll make me feel dumb. It's what? weird. Jules is the same way. Yeah. She tell me I have autism sometimes. Yeah, no, but, but she, her saying shit like that is kind of cool because nobody really checks me like that, so I like it. And I took the fucking test while she was taking the test. She got an eight. I got a nine. So it was like no big deal. We're pretty close. We're pretty much the same. 
but I got a feeling you're going to break 30, my man, and you are going to win this test. You are going to pass the <laughs> test. Not to push me. <laughs> you're going to give me a spectrum trophy. <laughs> I would love to have him and Jonah go at it on this test, <laughs> but I, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to ride this line. I'm not going to make fun of people with autism because mm. that's not the goal of this video. And I don't know if that's the goal of a Netflix show or not, but it's a great show, and it really is showing these people looking for love, and they genuinely do help them look for love. And, you know, maybe we could make our own spin-off knockoff version of Love on the Spectrum if you are on the Spectrum. So my fingers are crossed that you fucking pass this test, that you win this competition. You're going to win, Steven. You're gonna pass. Is zoning out a s sign of, like... Did you not pay attention to what I just you said? Zone out the whole no, thing? I, I am, but then I think about, oh, I'm zoning out. And then I'm not thinking about zoning out, and I'm like, what is zoning out? And then now I'm, like, trying <laughs> That's to... That's five so points. Already, I'm, giving it, I'm starting you know to five it's, points. It's the headphones. Can I please try one no, episode with no, the headphones? No, no, bro. You, you can hear any of us. You can hear any. I can hear y'all, but we're not doing sound bites no, this episode. No, right? we are. We're going we're gonna to do. We're going to get into an episode we're after. We're going to break the fourth wall. one on and one off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get right into the test. Oscar, give us a little test taken music, and let's jump right into it. Do you have your phone? Oh, uh, yeah, right here. So yeah. let's all try to stay on the same question, and we just won't look at each other's answers. And don't fucking no, no, copy no, no. my answers because mine are going to be good. <laughs> mine are going to be better. I'm going to do my own, I swear. Okay, boys, you ready? Everybody mm -hmm. got their test? Oscar, you got yours? Uh, yeah, I'm pulling it up. Okay, Kyle, you got yours? Yes. I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Definitely agree. Slightly agree. Slightly disagree. Definitely disagree. The music's fucking me up, Jeff. <laughs> can't focus. <laughs> I can't. I have my ADHD is so bad right now. I'm on question number two. Steven, did you finish same, it yet? Yeah, I'm on two. Okay. I prefer doing things the same way. For instance, my morning routine or trip to the supermarket. Mm. Ah, now, see, these are not yes or no answers. You know, it's not you're right or you're wrong. You definitely do the same thing every day. Don't help him out. Don't tell him what he does. He knows. No influence. Yeah, no influence on each other's questions. Okay, question number three. I find myself becoming strongly absorbed in something, even obsessional. Does that mean like for a short period of time and then you move on to something else? Like you can be locked into something you like easily. Or oh that's what's asking. Question number four, baby. I'm Steven, not ready. Just guess, I'm just guess, just guess. No. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. No, no, no. Do it, do it right. Do your honest. Dude, I'm serious, I cannot focus with the music. I have Oh so my god, the question four is perfect. Am I my, very the, sensitive to I, <laughs> <laughs> I am very sensitive to noise and will wear earplugs to cover my ears in certain situations. <laughs> definitely agree. No, actually, no you yeah, have to definitely agree because you just That's not the question. I'm still on the I second. <laughs> bro, third, third. Bro, answer question three. Like bro, can you be locked into something? He's just losing it. <laughs> sounds, in his underwear and everything. sounds are too oh much. My God. Bro, your vape is under your balls. <laughs> okay, I am very sensitive to noise and will wear earplugs to cover your ears in certain situations. <laughs> you gotta sh definitely agree for I'm that. I'm on five, yeah. I'm on five. Definitely agree. Question number five. Sometimes people say I'm being rude, even though I think I'm being polite. But you, you fuck with me, so I don't know if it's no, like... No, I actually do think you're being like... Okay, alright, alright. I find it easy to talk in groups of people. <laughs> <laughs> you better answer that honest. I did. What'd you say? Definitely disagree. <laughs> Definitely disagree? Yeah. You're pretty- you're talking in a group right now. We're my friends, we're, we're like... <laughs> I don't know, I get like quiet when I'm with people I don't know, or like, just random people. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Question number eight. I am more interested in finding out about things than people. God, I feel like I'm on drugs right this now. This is tough, man, because I want to go slightly agree or slightly disagree, because it's like finding out about things like pyramids or something. Yeah, I want to oh, know about the pyramids no. and no. shit like, like that. Conspiracy. Yeah, Steven, conspiracies. You'll, you'll dig into like shit about video I hate games. Some conspiracy stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be about conspiracies. Yeah, like, but then I'll also look into people, you know? Yeah, you look at into like, girls. You know, I last like night I was watching Stranger Things and I'm Googling everybody's age. I'm like, why does this guy look 35? Why is this? Why is he in high school with 14 year olds? Did you see a girl and you thought uh, she was hot? And they got long hair? I mean, yeah, a lot of them look fucking old. So I'm interested in finding out in things. I don't know. I'm more interested in finding out. It. Hard question. Yeah, slightly disagree. I don't know because I'm. I, I, don't copy my fucking answer. I, I'm not saying. My I'm on the next. Yeah, Are I'm you? Nine. Okay. Boom. I find numbers, dates, and strings of information fascinating. Uh, nine eleven. You just oh. fucked me up by that. I prefer nonfiction books and films to fiction. Um, nonfiction is a fake, right? Nonfiction is real. Fiction's fake. I just watched Cars 2 last night and one. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And you were about to watch Ratatouille. Yeah, that's, and I watched Ratatouille last that's night. That's fiction. Oh, I fell asleep watching it. Those are fiction. 
But I, I never watched that stuff. I enjoyed it though a lot last night. So then you Maybe slightly you agree. Or you slightly you remind me of uh, you remind me of Mater. I'm mean, not Mater. I'm Mater. You're uh, Lightning McQueen. Okay. And and, you're, and the girl you're making that he you're meet, making up you're making things up. I find it upsetting if my daily routine is upset or changed. Eh. Slightly disagree. I don't give a fuck. You know. Shit happens. Things pop up. I'm a busy yeah, guy. You're influencing me to say slightly disagree. No, you you don't have a daily routine. <laughs> you jerk off, wait a little bit, play some video games, and jerk off again. <laughs> and wait McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe you jerk off two, three more times throughout the day, and then post a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't don't tell me. So your what happens girlfriend. if you have to be at work all day and you can't jerk off three times a day and play video games Definitely. and order McDonald's? I went to Poppy last the other night and I got, I went back with two Norwegian girls and they were so hot and they got butt naked in the bed next. There was two beds in the room and they got na butt naked in the bed together with each other. And I'm just alone in the bed. I'm not alone. <laughs> not my friend with me. But I'm rock hard next to my friend in the other bed. And they're both naked in their bed. <laughs> you know, Blue now I, I know why I love this show so much. Because I feel like I'm watching it when I'm talking to you. And I mean <laughs> that in the nicest Finish way possible. Story. Because oh, oh. They, they, do, they say shit like that and they act like that. And, you know, they're looking for love. And I think it'd be interesting to see Who's you look they? for love, Steven. The autistic people on the show, the people that are oh, on the spectrum geez, that are looking for love. You should watch it. It's a good chill. And 12? Question number 12. It's difficult for me to understand other people's facial expressions and body language. No. I fucking am not telling you my answer. I want 13. Question number 13. I don't have any problems making small talk with new people. What do you think, Steven? Be honest. <laughs> I don't influence y'all, so. I am a professional small talker. I used to cut hair for a living. Everybody that sat in my chair, I made them feel like they were in the right <laughs> this place. This is the guy that told you and Little Hoodie make a TikTok. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. If I walk up to Little Hoodie. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even read so the room, bro. Oh, my God. He's like, y'all should make a TikTok. Bro, oh. Little Hoodie, Lil Hoodie respects me. <laughs> but Lil Hoodie fucking no one said a word. Lil Hoodie <laughs> fucking. Listen, listen to me. Exactly. Lil Hoodie respects me if i ask him to do a tiktok with my boy he's gonna consider it. he's gonna think about it look your confidence he's a little was huddy. whack he's a little huddy ask me that right now like we're re reenacting it ready i'm a little huddy. don't say anything yeah yeah this is my boy steven he's hey, what's he, up dude he's, he's uh <laughs> he's autistic you should make a tiktok with him oh you don't care I about i think we're gonna go <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we have to meet up with we're, 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 they're, they're, they're leaving us and you stutter like that too? That's what they said. Didn't I say they're leaving us? Oh, is that what they said? Did you just stutter on purpose? No. Okay. No, because I don't. I can't. I honestly, I can't tell. You're like making me feel more dumb, and it's like coming out, and I'm not trying to. It's just watch my test. Watch my test come back. Be yourself, bro. I'm gonna be the most autistic one, and I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. Question number fifteen. When I was young, I used to play lots of let's pretend or imaginary games. Definitely disagree. Never fucking touched none of that shit. I was either as playing. a kid. You never went played army with your brother and ran around with sticks. Or like shoot yard. nerf guns or some shit. Nope. Jeez, Legos. Bro, you know, childhood. She just robbed just banks at four. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> Question number eighteen. People close to me say I talk about the same things repeatedly. Not me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> not me. Definitely not me. Definitely disagree with that. I have to answer honestly, so I'm gonna say slightly Thank agree. You. In my defense. When you have to do podcasts and film every single fucking day, you're going to repeat shit. It's normal. I, but I do a pretty good job for not repeating so many things and coming in with fresh new material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. All right. Then uh, people say I talk about the same thing repeatedly. Slightly disagree. That's a lie. No, it's not. I Wait, just, well, you know, you do just, get, you get, you have like very random interests. Like they change a lot, like very fast. Yeah, yeah. So you do talk about I'm always on to the next stuff. thing. Just growing this database up here. It's just expanding. That's why my head is getting bigger. It looks like bigger sometimes. Know. Question number 20. New social situations make me feel anxious. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Can I have an example? If you go to a party and there's a bunch of people you don't know, you can feel anxious. <laughs> Club, partying. What about like a, a dinner with your yeah, dinner. I'm a thinking new about dinner. client? Yeah. I no. I don't give a fuck. I go in there dead sober and I fuck with people for fun. Cause I'm, I'm, a I'm a sick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. Sober, like a club. Cause I'm a sick fuck. I'm yeah, sick how in do you the head. have fun? You like you watch UFC fights at the club? <laughs> okay, listen, listen. Seriously. I watched a TikTok of some guy talking about this the other day, saying, "Oh, if you say that you don't need alcohol to have fun, then you're a fucking liar." I was so pissed because this guy's so insecure, just like 
you're basically saying I need alcohol to have fun because I'm insecure. I'm not. Like, I don't love myself. I need to oh, be. That's me. But I'm how do you have? Fun yeah, look, everybody's got insecurities. I'm not saying I'm completely secure with everything. Uh, you know, my feet could be a little. My toes could be a little more straightened out. Yeah. They're a little crunched up. I got problems, <laughs> man. I got problems. You know. Let's get back into the oh, test yeah. here. Question oh, shit, twenty-one. My phone's my pocket. It's important for me to carefully plan any activities I'm going to do. I'm going to carefully plan. Carefully plan. <laughs> you can't get past that. Think about it, Steven. You've carefully planned one thing. That's all I've seen you do. Your pop up, your your like, video about your shirt. That's yeah. the only thing I've ever seen you carefully plan. He carefully planned it and then gave up on the whole idea. <laughs> I didn't give up, it just didn't work. <laughs> Everyone gave up on me. But that's the only thing I've ever seen you carefully plan. You didn't even ask me to be a part of your merch drop. <laughs> you didn't want you. to. You did it you on purpose. You're like I don't want Jeff to be. In it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I wanted to, to prove to you. I feel, I was like I, I can do this without I Jeff. I can do this. Well, you fucking really proved it to me, Steven. <laughs> yeah, he called really me out. He called me out. He was really uh, like, he's like, I'm gonna prove no, Jeff wrong. I was gonna ask you. I was, like, I was gonna ask you. And like, you yeah. really showed me when you called me up crying the next day about I'm your depressed. sales that came in. <laughs> It's really cool merch. It's great quality merch, but you want to have an arrogant attitude and not ask me for help, and you ask Mike you for help. Is. <laughs> oh, let me let me. Let, even let, said let, that. He said you got pissed. I knew, you you got, about that. I knew it. Listen, you get pissed. Okay, okay, everybody, everybody, story. Shh, everybody, shh. Because right. this is what I'm talking about. All the little kids. You can't even get a word out. People, it's painful to listen to. Oh, you're right. That was. They get mad. You're right. You asked Mike for help on vlogging, and this dumbass, 37 <laughs> year old who just got into production. And he, even to say production, he's a step up from self vlogging, doing it on his own. He's one fucking sliver up from that. I literally run a production company. We make documentaries, award winning ones. We've done it all. Oscar and I started with one camera. And I love it. And you could have asked any of us, but you asked Mike, who got a free camera hand me down from his famous friend, Logan Paul. <laughs> and it's not even it. a good camera for vlogging. It's the worst, actually. The ADD actually, is perfect. It has three mics on it. It has a mic behind it, in front of it, and then one that gets the whole room. It's a perfect vlogging camera. And if you would have asked us, we had an extra one here. We would have gave it to you. <laughs> you but do instead, not have a G7X. No, no. Oh, no, no, my you God. You dumb You dumb fuck. You dumb autistic fuck. We don't even have to take this fucking question. I, it's, we, that's we're gonna describing get out. I, to you? I meant that only. That you have to play ADD, that clip in context, oh, the whole thing. was a good camera. And if you would have <laughs> asked Bro, one of us. huge. I'm not carrying that around vlogging. Oh, but I'm talking about, listen, talking listen, about when he put it on the story. Listen, he bragged about it to say, like, Bro, look, he put it on look the at story. me. Look at me helping the youth, these up and coming YouTubers. When this fucking kid asks me all day for advice, and then he'll go ask the same question to Mike, and he'll come back to me and he'll say, Look, Mike gave me the great advice, the best advice. <laughs> that camera sucks. You, every time you I, ask the moron. Every you're time a moron I ask too. you for advice, we just argue. <laughs> it's yeah, like my dad. I, I don't know why, but whenever, like, you give me advice, I treat you like my dad. Like I looked at you like my dad's giving me advice. Well, you don't listen to me, Steve. Yeah, I think it's because I'm like I don't know what it is. It's just like it's I want to prove to you that I can do it, and I don't want you think like you know what I mean. Like I wanted to say I believe in you, but I, <laughs> you I, don't. I, I, you I, don't. not yet, not yet. Mike's not paying you money. All right, <laughs> I believe in you. Uh, real shit. Mike's bragging that he helps people. But really, why did not tell me? Why did he put that on the story? I knew you're gonna see that. I was like, oh, just gonna see that. And I, I saw <laughs> Stephen J. S. J. What is J? Stephen Jeff. Ooh. I knew it. I knew it was Jeff. The J was like Stephen yeah, Jeff's. You're lawyer, under me. Jeff's. You're under me. You're protected by Jeff in that phone book. Okay, question twenty-two. I find it hard to work out what people's intentions are. I need an example oh, of this. Like if somebody's like trying to cloud chase off of you. Hard to work or, out like, what people's oh. intentions are. Oh yeah, yeah. like people. Yeah, yeah, like using you and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. I am often the last person to understand her joke. Steven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like actual jokes that have punchlines, not you stupid TikToks. You'll get, your head. you'll get vines and TikToks, but when it comes to an actual set of punchline situation, you have no idea what's no going idea. on. So I always look over to you and you're just zoned out when we're doing a podcast. <laughs> you like that. You're just the thinking headphones, of, I promise you. I'm never like that. It's it only you, you should make you I'm so excited more. to see the amount you're on the spectrum. I like doing things spontaneously, Steven. What does that mean? It's like, like on the go? Right now, right now, let's go to Mexico. Right here, right now, oh, let's go. Yeah. You do? You uh, might not You might not be that much on the spectrum then. Because, actually, no, you don't fucking, you need let's plans. Go let's go to the club right now. Let's go to Hyde, come on. If I'm interrupted doing something, I find hard to get back to what I was doing beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> 29, I have some very strong interests and can get upset if I can't pursue them. Oh, I'm done. Okay, adult autism test results. 10, baby! You have the same score as most people do when completing this test, and you were probably not autistic. But I do have, I mean, I did get 10, so. Damn. <gasps> what? 
Oh Pussy. fuck! I just read mine. What are you? I'm 13. That's not. That's not Wait, terrible. Listen, slight, listen, slight listen. tendencies. It says you Perfect. show autistic traits slightly above the population average. Oscar, oh, no. you better not be retaking your test <laughs> back there. I'm not. What That's happened? Slightly more are you 15, Oscar? <laughs> Steven, go first. <laughs> what? I knew it. I knew it. Crazy, I knew. Oscar's more autistic no, than me. No, 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 no. <laughs> what's your What's Steven, your score, Steven? Steven, read it. Read it. Read your phone. Read your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> don't lie, don't lie. I actually read it. <laughs> is it 20? 17. 17? <laughs> he uh, is borderline, baby. We got right. borderline indication. Me yes. and Steven are the same. Oh, we are. Oh, 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 17. <laughs> oh, you no. know. oh, my God. You guys are more autistic than me. I don't know if I should be happy or if I should feel like I'm doing a terrible job running a business here. <laughs> Why the fuck are all my employees autistic? No, autistic people are the most creative. Yeah, they're smart. Haha, ha, y'all aren't good. I agree. Me and I agree. No, I have 13, he has 10. <laughs> okay, alright, whatever. <laughs> well, I want to be autistic now. <laughs> alright, today's episode is brought to you by SeatGeek. Live events are back, and that means you're getting $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Jeff. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets. I use SeatGeek all the time when I'm buying ringside seats to UFC events, and sometimes, you know, I'll go with a group, and I I, I don't want to go for the ringside seats. I'll go with, with the cheaper uh, ticket so we could all sit together and have a good time, share that experience together. And the best part about SeatGeek is you could see exactly where your seat is. You could get a view from your seat. It has all different ratings of seats green means good red means bad whether it's concerts baseball basketball football festivals or more SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to ten to make sure you're getting a good deal don't worry i got the hookup use code jeff for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. that's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code jeff make sure you click the link in the description to download the app that's code jeff for twenty dollars off your first Seek Geek order, baby. Use code Jeff for $20 off your first order. What else is going on in the news? We got uh, Johnny Depp won the trial. Uh, that's cool. Team Johnny. Amber Heard, they said that she got sued for $2 million, and now she's broke. Damn, believe that? Oh, she got sued for what this? $15, 15 million. million. Damn. Her Heck? net worth dropped to negative $8 million. Damn. I don't know gag or... No, bro, that's bad. So she's like broke? She's negative eight mil. I'd rather be broke than negative eight million. Who ever in the, would be able to afford to pay off eight million dollars in their lifetime? No one. Oh, wait, unless you're rich, rich, but. Oh, that means she owes money if she's negative eight mil? Yes, she's got to find that money from somewhere to pay off. You can't get a loan for eight million, but then you got to pay that off. I feel like she would um, pay like restitutions. They could, like yeah, you do plan. a payment plan and then I, I'm guessing she. But her career is fucked now. So Oof. I guess it's like she's canceled. And then how do you make money to pay off restitution when you have no career? I saw a bunch of comments saying she should start her OnlyFans. Oh, oh yeah, honestly, that would crush it. I buy it. <laughs> yeah, so, so would I. She, when she looks all pissed off and mad, it's so hot. In court when she's all. Oh. That's a good point. She would be, if she dropped an OnlyFans right now, she'd be the top earner. It's the only way out right now. If Tana's making a million dollars a month. Jesus, really? What? Yeah, that's why Tana don't Holy give a fuck. fuck. A we month. said we we're going to be podcast co-hosts. She never showed up again, you know? <laughs> a month? She's, why the fuck would she waste See, time doing this? <laughs> Bro, you tried showing your dick on OnlyFans. You made $200 for a week, and I promoted it. No, I would it. never do it. I'm just saying a month? I tried promoting <laughs> that dick. Did it, it was just, yeah. You would never do it. What are you talking about, bro? No, I wouldn't. Well, all right. In all fairness, you're 17. So. 17? I'm 21. On the test, on the spectrum. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Enough of the Johnny Depp number. stuff. Yeah, um, enough of the Johnny Depp stuff. We already did it all. Mayor Garcetti ran over somebody on the freeway. Is it Mayor Garcetti or Governor Garcetti? Mayor. Oh. Uh, governor. Well, ma mayor sounds... Mayor, uh, uh, governor sounds of LA? Right. Newson. I guess just Governor Garcetti sounds good, the two Gs. Is Garcetti the one that had beef with Bryce Hall and shut off his power? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? He ran over somebody on the highway? Uh, fatally strikes pedestrian on the 170 freeways in the city-owned vehicle. Damn. Yeah. That's like nearby here. This is yeah. the guy that's supposed to be keeping us safe. And he's out there killing innocent people. I don't know if she died or a person died. It's a fatal strike. That's death. Oh. Fatal means killed. Oh, so he's in jail. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. If he... Is he in jail now? Yeah, you kill somebody. He should be. Let me look it up. This is why we need Batman. A real Batman. This is why I go fight crime at night. Yeah, There's shit mean. like this. Who's going to stop this? The government is out there killing us. 
when they're supposed to be keeping us safe. He's too worried about shutting down Bryce Hall's power, and he's striking people to death. My condolences go out to that family and that person and their loved ones, but damn. He's probably like this on his phone, looking at Bryce Hall's TikToks <laughs> like this. Boom! Just blasted somebody because he's like, I'm going to shut this guy's power down. Get your priorities straight. This is all I know about him, so I'm just trying to make a good oh, conversation gonna about him. You know, you I know, he's going to shut down all everything. Fuck, I got to stop talking shit about politicians in states that I live in. Man in his 30s died in the scene. Is that it for Gorsetti? It was unclear why the man was walking on the freeway. Uh, please don't Can don't. we get a Bryce Hall versus Garcetti boxing match? Maybe? That'd be cool. You know, and Bryce is down to fight anybody. He's fight, ch well, challenging he, he the island boys. It says that Joseph Avalos was driving the city-owned vehicle when the crash occurred. Oh, so he was just in the car. Wait. I think so. Oh, wow. That was such a headline. Director of Los Angeles That's that Mayor, clickbait, Kyle. Eric you Garcetti's cannot come in here cried. with clickbait stories because you're going to you go on a rant and get Damn. beef with the government. And what, what, if our, what if our podcast just turns into like the onion and like we just like start seeing fake stories? <laughs> I'm, I'm down for that. <laughs> it, was, it was Garcetti's team. It wasn't Garcetti. That doesn't even... So see what happens? Yeah. See, that, okay. that's, that's why I worry about you guys and that's why I care so much and I'm on top of you guys about so many little things that you think, oh, I'm just being an asshole. Why does Jeff want us to have manners and say thank you and you're welcome and stuff like that? And why does he want us to <laughs> fucking wear nice shoes and things like that? Because you guys all represent me. If you go out and kill somebody, somebody's going to make a title, Jeff Wittick killed somebody. <laughs> all right, moving on. Um, this was a fun episode with the boys, you know? Yeah. Uh, we, did you jerk off to the episode with Lana? Are you being... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't. I did go home and... I didn't drink the floor the <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> you said what? You looked up her, her old work? Yeah. At least you're honest, you know? There's some video. I, it gets... They get, some of them were crazy. I didn't know it was like that. I'd, yeah. Big... Black wieners like this. Oh yeah. In the butt. Yeah. And in the in the, in the ass. Like anal. It's called. Hey, have you ever done anal? You've gone anal, Steven? No, I've done anal. Oh. Once. Yeah? It was just like just like half of my wee wee. <laughs> and then she was like, ah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I would never want anything to go up my ass. Speaking of that, Mike. Same. You guys know Mike. Hey, big Mike. He went for a rectal exam today. Oh, and nice. he's almost 40, huh? Yeah, Jim, he's almost right? 40. They go up Come there with a the finger and they go dig mouth. all around Deep, yeah. in in your butt. And this is a thing that we're all going to have to experience one day if we make it to 40. Don't they have to hit your G-spot in your butt to milk you or something? To like oh, see what? If, it's a real thing. I don't know what they it's do. Guys have G-spots in their he butt. Was, he was so excited for this TikTok that he got off the screen and <laughs> he posted it and then TikTok banned it. They were like, TikTok oh, I saw that. One. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, he was pissed <laughs> off because it, it was... It was a funny what TikTok, happened, you know? Yeah. He's embracing his age and making fun of himself. It's good. You were talking earlier about how you want to expand your sneaker game. Yeah. I just live, I don't I just live life, Jeff. I don't, I know I should care and I've been caring about my appearance. Well, <laughs> well you did I've been that because you, you walked around with your socks on, you stepped in Nurse P. So that's yeah. why we had to loan you a pair of socks for he today. peed three times since I've been here. He's been peeing, man. It's Which getting down to the end of the line for Nerf and... It's fucking sad, bro. It's really sad. I was down at the dog park earlier, and Nerf had this girlfriend in the building. She, her name was Fancy. She's a pug that was 12 years old, and she had it rough. Like, she had diabetes and stuff like that, and I was good friends with Fancy's mom. She's a nurse, and she just knows a lot about medicine and stuff like that. So I saw her today, and I, I knew something was up because she was with two other dogs, and I was like, how's Fancy? And she was like, started tearing up. She was like, she passed away last week. And I, I was like, I feel for her, you know, and that's Nerf's girl. So I gave her a hug and she's just telling me about like how she figured out it was the time. And she was like, yeah, she just stopped eating. And she was just like giving me a sign telling me that that was the time. But they had scheduled the whole photo shoot and she had the people come to the house to, that put the dog down. And it sounded kind of nice the way she did it. Like she enjoyed her last days with the dog, made some nice memories. And it was very peaceful how... Oh, they sent her so off. You're saying and, maybe and you just want to send Nerf off into the sunset 
at Runyon. I want to do something nice for Nerf. You know, he's a legend. He's him he's a le- no, I don't want to oh abandon him. You know, no. Oscar's just fucking around. Don't listen to him. I would never take. I would never do that. I, it's so fucked, yeah. But also, you don't want to be the guy that's like just keeping your dog alive for yourself. You know, if yeah, they're struggling, if he's really like going through it. Mm-hmm. And he's, it's not like he can tell you that f- f- verbally. I know, I, and I feel like sometimes he is like when he fell down the stairs. Yeah, he was kind of going through it. You know, and he, that was kind of him saying, like, he was coming up to me because he needed me to tell me something at 5 a.m. He's Aww. like, you know, and then he goes fucking tumbling down the stairs. It's been rough for him, man. But Did, did he make, like, sounds with his, vo- like his, his voice yeah. when he fell? Yeah. Oh, oh that's sad. Yeah. And that's what woke you up? Okay. Hey, what's going on? Uh, fuck, hey. man. The transition was crazy. Yeah, that's one hell oh, of a transition. Really a deep in there for a sec. I know, that's probably the deepest I ever got. This is fucking boring as shit. Hey! Oh, hey. you're back! Oh, you're back! The uh, initial... Yeah, I, got, I got my phone back. You know, oh, I was kind of hoping that that other guy would stick around. <laughs> he was funny. Uh, well, uh, what happened with that? Well, what's cool is I was gonna... He's right here. I was, nope. gonna, I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna... I was gonna... I was gonna get mad at him for stealing my phone, but he actually turned out to be, like, really... Cool. Oh, you guys met up. You bonded, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. We got, we got really close, actually. Yeah. And he's actually opened my eyes about the weather segment. How much like I've kind of been doing whatever my dad wants me to do, and I think it's time for the like Phoenix to rise to the ashes. Wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's get the weather out. Um, the weather is good though, and I've just had a whole, awesome. I've had a whole new outlook on life. Um, we're in an Uber right now. Maybe hey, you could add a little uh, better better lighting or something if you're taking it more serious. You had this epiphany oh, well, with no, your father. We're, we're taking it less serious because I realized that I just I, this guy like he he does a lot of uh, he do, oh there we go he yeah no a they, he's of, a big uh, hit they loved him what's up bro good to see you again oh the weather's actually it's perfect to have sex in <laughs> <laughs> so I've just had like this new like rebirth and I've realized that during the month of June it's actually good for business to like be um more open to things that you would not oh my god <laughs> no, no, no. what is going on <laughs> um, I though, don't, like, don't, don't get like, the fuck you're trying so you, you, you got anyways, yeah. you guys met up over a lost phone and now you're trying out being gay together oh did we lose them what the fuck is this weather segment anymore <laughs> that was the best one <laughs> <laughs> that was so did they hang up that was so on good. us <laughs> and they didn't even give us I the damn his weather phone I think, yeah i think his, his phone might have <laughs> <laughs> hey sorry sorry, sorry uh, about that uh, sorry ten- i just nutted sorry <laughs> so, um we can't be too explicit um, but yeah, we just realized that I've just realized a lot about myself lately. Um, the it, yeah, the lighting's great, babe. Er, guy. Um, <laughs> anyways, when you say that, it sucks. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. Bro, stop, I'm gonna punch you. Did you listen to Uber? <laughs> okay. Anyways, Jeff, I'm gonna kill you. Jeff, we need your, Jeff, we need your help. What's um, going, what's going on? My boyfriend, my friend, who's a guy, uh, he he just signed up for a YouTube boxing match with Keemstar. He's gonna be boxing Brandon Buckingham, um, and we need a trainer. Oh, are you guys shit. serious? You're being serious right now? Uh, we're yes. being very serious. Tr- who's Herbie's is gonna be boxing Brandon Buckingham on in October? And get the fuck out of here. That's the sick. Next couple months. That's sick. Yeah, I would love to. Boy. Hell yeah. yeah. Fuck Brandon Bro, you, I'm going to get you a full fucking training camp, a team to yeah. have you. Look at my hair, too. Like, we need to fix this. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to rebrand. Holy shit, look at my hair, I think, I think, at- I think as long as he's got my support, <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to be, you're going to do so good. Dude, thanks. Oh, my me. God. <laughs> this oh. is the guy you're fighting? Yeah. No, no, he's no, going to no, be no, fighting. No. Yeah, or, yeah oh, the yeah, guy yeah, on the top yeah. left. Yeah, he's he's way taller than me. I'm gonna yeah, need a lot of help, buddy. Sick. We you need to Liam learn to how to him. get in and stay in because I'm, he's like six. Two. Oh, this guy he wrestled NCAA D three national champion. Chad Chad yeah, boxed gonna, me from fourteen. I, to I boxed 15. when I was fourteen to fifteen. You should be Danny Mullins' boy. <laughs> you know who that is? No, he's not Danny Mullins' boy. He's anti he's, Danny Mullins. A- anti Danny Mullins. Guess oh, what? What happened? I'm pro Danny Mullins. I'm gonna fuck people. And up. you got that you got that rod in your leg too. You had that leg yeah. injury, right? So we're gonna need yeah. a lot of help. Yeah, yeah you're damn right. Great. You're gonna need a lot of help. You're gonna have to take it serious too. You can't be fooling around. Stop looking at Jeff like that. Stop looking at Jeff like that. 
Okay. There's our next Lightwall series. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the next series. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get you ready to go. Obviously, I, I can't box anytime soon because I have the eye injury. So I, I can know, live. You gotta I help could, him. No, no. I just I can live through you. Coach, like you just have to slap me silly, baby. And no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you technique. I'm gonna teach you a new there. lifestyle. I'm gonna teach you to stay off drugs. Yeah. No smoking. No vaping. No alcohol. I, I don't do that. No don't jerking off. No sex. Eight weeks out. No, eight. I don't even do sex. I don't. I don't. I'm no. I don't fat. I do the Mormon lifestyle, baby. I'm just like Steven, but I could have sex, but I don't. You should. You have to let Jeff be able to access your apartment whenever he wants to and walk in and That's check on fine. you in the That's middle fine. of the night, whenever. Yeah. To make exactly. sure you're staying in, uh, on track. So it's October. We got some time. Yeah, we got like five months. Um, I'm, I'm happy you guys bonded yeah, over this lost phone, and now you're getting in the fight game, and there's so much happening. I'm proud of you, boys. Uh, this was. Thanks. We're, we're men, actually. Yeah, we're actually men, though. We're actually men, though. It would, be, like, it would be nice if you took the weather segment a little bit more serious, though. You know? No, we, we fucking rolled down the window. Okay. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't like that they teamed up. I liked the other guy way better before he got with Ryan. It's a shame. But, you know? I think they're gay. <laughs> yeah, or maybe they're trying it. It's the gay month, so... I'm not know. even gay. If you're going to try being gay... This is the month to do it. Would you do something with Chad to, uh, for content? It's like you're training him or something? For training him, yeah. Sexually, would I do something <laughs> with him? No. What? No, I meant like boxing. Why would you think that? Because we I were just that. talking about being gay and trying to be gay. No. <laughs> Listen, I don't even think we could properly speak about this because being gay is from birth. You were born gay or you are born straight. That's what I believe. Is that right? Am I getting too political? Oh, you're what? too woke right now. No, it's how you're raised. You're not it's not how you were raised. No, it's not how it's yeah, not how you were raised. Any of this. <laughs> it's not how you were raised. It has nothing to do with it. You're either gay or straight from birth. It's it's in you. Because you can't just change what you like. <laughs> Am I right? No, this is a real it's conversation. In your bro. blood is in boy to like as a man do you do uh, anything i just said right there i actually want to cut let's get ivan that's on so line. bad that's like <laughs> that's actually bad. way over the line yes because this is my personal with my opinion and i don't want it out there what's your opinion you didn't even that. say anything you just act like an idiot you were just like ah you know you need to you, you want to be gay so Fuck, i forgot i was not supposed to bring that up I'm what stuff cut out, cut out. <laughs> yeah because we don't cut it out when you when you say shit like that we leave it in unless you really say something no. fucked up like what you did before when you said that <laughs> All right, um, that's it for today's episode, right? Yeah, do you want to finish your nerve story or no? <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, you know, that's life. You're not going to have consistent happiness throughout your entire life. You're lucky if you get 25 days out of a, a month where you wake up feeling happy. You know, you should be grateful for that. We're here and we're living out our dreams. We're here and we're queer. <laughs> that's right. Change us to a rainbow. Month. Change us out to a rainbow for the whole episode. <laughs> Can we do that? Uh, I don't know. All those colors are pretty similar. It's Pride Month, baby. First gay guest, Taylor Holder. Didn't show up. He didn't come out of the closet. Yeah, he was supposed to. And then he got cold feet. I'm going to get canceled any day now on this fucking show. You know? How much can we get away with? Fuck, dude. And when you get on Athco too, because my face is right here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a representation of you now. Yeah. <laughs>